I'm Billy. Welcome to Billy Lux. So my channel is all about my love of luxury items, designer handbags and jewelry. I like to do unboxings and reviews. So if that's the sort of thing you like to watch on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button below. You can also click the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And if you like this video, that will mean that it will be pushed out to so many other people on YouTube. So when you like a YouTube video, it then gets recommended to more people. So I would love it if you would like this video. So I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That's my goal in the next couple of months. I think at the moment I have 681, so I'm, I'm getting there bit by bit. So if you could subscribe to my channel and help me get to a thousand, that would be really amazing. Thanks. Okay, so firstly, I thought I would just touch on the makeup and nail polish I'm wearing today in case you're interested. So I did pick up a few things from Mecca the other day. So I'll just tell you what they are. The first one is a precision lip liner in the color Heilong Bay uh, 9071. On my lips, I have the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. So that is this one. It is a plumping lip gloss. It does kind of like tingle and sting a bit, so it feels like it's really doing something. Now I did pick up some new nail polish from Hermes a couple of days ago. So this color I'm wearing is called Orange Poppy. If you can get a nice close up of the color. It's really bright and I really, really like it. And then on my cheeks, I did also pick up from Hermes some blush. So I am wearing Rose Plume. And this is what it looks like. This is the color. It's just a really, really nice light pink. I think it was the lightest pink that they had. And what's really cool about this packaging is it's magnetic. These are also refillable. Oh, there's my phone. These are also refillable, so um, obviously initially when you buy them, they're quite expensive. I mean, nothing at Hermes is cheap, but the fact that it is refillable is really awesome. They're about 110, I think, to buy initially, and then the refills are 60 Australian dollars. So that's really cool. Now, if you have seen my most recent video, which is my 2022 designer handbag collection, all of these items here. You would know that I have actually recently sold a heap of bags um, to try and curate a more user-friendly collection. I have gotten rid of a heap and I have added a few. So last year I added my classic flap in medium. I added my Picatin, my Dior strap that goes on it, my mini Evelyn and my Dior mini lady dior so i got all of these bags last year so i've kind of got rid of like all my louis vuitton bags um yeah a couple of um chanel bags that i had i actually sold my uh gold boy bag and i sold my black caviar mini rectangle i know everyone's gonna be like you're so crazy why did you sell that but i just didn't really love it so um i've sold heaps and i've bought most of these actually i bought this one two years ago so pretty much everything's fairly new i am really trying to just declutter not have so many things and have a really user-friendly handbag collection so this year's wish list is sort of carrying on from that so we're going to start with jewelry so i have a couple of different pieces on my wish list for this year now i have seen pictures of this brand on Instagram and on Facebook, but didn't really know what it was because it's obviously not as popular as say Cartier, Van Cleef, etc. And I was actually introduced to it by watching a video by Cassie Thorpe the other week where she introduced us to a few other designer jewelry brands that aren't obviously as popular and lesser known. So I then immediately went and checked out their website and sort of stalked them on Instagram and found that I really love their pieces. So this year for my designer jewelry, I think I would like to focus on acquiring a couple of their designs. So the brand is pronounced Chimay. So um, it is a French jewelry brand. 
and they have a collection called Be My Love. The designs in this line are like honeycomb shape and they all fit together so that you can stack the items when worn. So that's really awesome. So the first thing on my wish list is of course the Be My Love ring. Now this comes in a number of different styles. You can get it in 18 karat yellow gold, white gold and pink gold. Um, you can get it with diamonds. There is um, different thicknesses. There's really thin ones, there's thicker ones and they all fit together which is really, really cool. So I would firstly like to get the plain pink gold ring and then I would like to add one with diamonds to be able to stack with my love ring because I have seen people do that and it looks really, really cool. So I'll show you the couple of different ones that I like the look of. There is plain gold, there is um, diamonds, I believe it's all the way around. There is diamonds on every second honeycomb. There is a ring that just has three diamonds on the front, which I believe is a slightly thicker ring. So there's heaps and heaps of different varieties of this ring. And also in the pictures that I have seen, people often mix their metals. So that also looks really, really cool. As you can see, there is a number of different varieties of this ring. So that is my first wish list item of 2022. I would love to get a ring from Chimay. Now, Number two item on my wish list is also from Chimay and it is the Be My Love bracelet. But as with all of the Chimay Be My Love collection pieces, they all can slot together. So you can stack them and add a few different ones to make up a stack. So that's really, really cool. Firstly, I would just love the plain uh, 18 karat rose gold bracelet to match the um, rose gold ring that I intend on buying. So that would be my first stop and then I would love one with diamonds but of course with all of these designer houses as soon as you add diamonds the price just like escalates. I'll be making sure I send this wish list to my partner. I'll be like hint hint watch this next video of mine just so you get some ideas for presents. Now the next item on my wish list is from Hermes. My essay is actually getting this one in for me, so that's really cool, but who knows how long it will take. And that is the Kelvy Duo. So it's an SLG, it's the same as the Kelvy, but it has a button um, pocket on one side. So I did watch heaps of YouTube videos because she has offered me the Kelvy um, in various different colors that I liked. But a lot of people say that your cards sort of slide from one side to the other. So I'm definitely holding out for the duo because I believe like if one side's buttoned, obviously that's not going to happen. So this is a newer style from Hermes and so far I've been waiting like, I don't even know, nearly a year for it. I asked her ages ago for it and um, it's just a really, really long wait obviously to get them into Australia. But she did tell me the other day that she has a Rose Extreme Kelvy Duo coming in, so she's put my name down for that. So now we just wait for it to arrive. Now, the next item that I also have on my wish list at Hermes that um, my essay is getting in for me is the Volva 60 Ankle Boot. Now, this comes in three different colors. It does come in like a whitey color, a black, and a gray. The black is not on the website and it's also not in store currently in Australia. So I don't know if that's coming back or what the go is with that. But I tried on the gray ones when I was in store last and I quite liked them. So I have asked my SA to get in my correct size in those. So as with everything else at Hermes, it is a waiting game, but I'm really hoping I get them in before the weather starts to cool off because it is summer here in Australia and it is super hot, but in a couple of months it'll be cooling down. So I think these little ankle boots will be really, really cute for that. I did watch a video of Jessie Style. She actually bought these same boots in, I think the black color, and they look really, really cool on her. They're like a sock boot. So they're supposed to be really, really comfy. Now the next item that I'm hoping to get this year, fingers crossed, is a new bag from Hermes. So last year in 2021, I did get my Picatin 18 
and I did get my mini Evelyn. I also was able to purchase a Kelly to go wallet on chain, but I have since sold that because I used it a couple of times and it just didn't work for me, unfortunately. So I managed to get three bags from Hermes last year. So this year I'm really hoping to step up my game. I have asked for a Constance, a Kelly, a Birkin, um, and then next on the list after one of those, a mini Lindy. So it's just, you know, in Hermes's hands, who knows? I'll just continue buying little things from them and building my relationship with my essay. And hopefully this year I might get offered one of my dream bags, but we'll just wait and see. Now the colors I have asked for in a dream bag, I'd love pink if you can't tell. Um, so I have asked for any of the pinks. I have asked for cray, gold, black, chai, which is a new color for 2022. Um, what else? Etain, Etoupe. So any of the neutrals or I love pink or I love purple. So I'm just leaving it out there. I like all of these different colors. So hopefully she can get me something, but you know, play the game keep playing hopefully i'll get somewhere you know so this year with uh handbags i'm just really trying to focus on hermes i'm really really loving the two that i have and i would really love to build more of a collection there i feel like i have got my medium chanel i'm kind of okay with chanel at the moment they did just have a price increase this week and I mean i only just bought that and it's already gone up again i got that in november for my birthday and now it's like beginning of March and they've just had another price increase. So I don't see myself buying any Chanel this year. There's nothing I really want from them at the moment. So I just see myself going to Hermes this year to try and get a bag or a couple of bags. My partner will say no. No, not a couple, maybe just one. <laughs> So I did go a little bit cray last year and buy quite a lot of items. So this year is definitely going to be very, very different. We are about to start building a house this month, the end of this month. So um, having a couple of different mortgages to pay, I'm really going to have to probably curb my spending a bit until that is done um, and we can move into our new house and rent out the house that we live in now. So this year, I think my spending is going to be a lot less um, than last year, but I'm still going to try and get a couple of these things on my wish list. Hopefully I can get a few even, you know, I'm not really, I'm not that stressed about it. Hopefully we'll get a couple. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments what is on your wish list and what you intend on adding to your collection this year. I'm really interested to know. And does anyone out there have any items from Chimay? And if you do, let me know. Give me a little bit of a review in the comments. I'd love to know what they're like and if you love the pieces that you have. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel.